Hi, my name is Joe Rice and I am your professor for coaching leadership. That'd be a great idea to maybe put a face with the name. Uh, I just want to spend a few minutes talk a little bit about America's obsession with youth sports. And this is something that's happened in the last 10, 15 years and it's grown steadier and steadier. And, and it's just really uh, it's one of those issues out there that really needs to be uh, discuss a little bit more and, and look at why why is it why is it in the last 15 years all of a sudden we're just obsessed with American sports uh, especially youth sports um, if you remember about a little over 10 years ago this guy named Tiger Woods burst on the scene and he he just dominated the game of golf and he still does and people are looking like why is Tiger so good and they look at his dad Earl Woods and what Earl did when Tiger was just a little boy and we all remember seeing pictures of Tiger when he was like, you know, two, three years old on, on TV shows, hitting golf balls. I mean, the guy was a phenomenal, uh, you know, child prodigy. Well, what's happened as a result is everyone out there is seeing like, wow, if I start my kid earlier in youth sports at two, three years old, uh, our kid, that kid too will become like Tiger. And so what you see is you see more and more people starting their kids earlier and earlier with structured, uh, supervised uh, instruction. And, and as a result, these kids are getting burned out. They're getting overwhelmed. They're being put in, into a lot of pressure to uh, succeed on the ball fields. And yeah, for every Tiger Woods, there are probably a million other kids who just totally failed. They're just not built. They're not physically, mentally tough enough like Tiger was. But parents still think that if I do it, my kid can be just like Tiger. Uh, what you also see is a lot, there's a lot more games and tournaments. How many times at the cocktail party circuit do you see parents talking about, yeah, my, my son played 40 soccer games this summer, or they had a tournament, they're in tournaments every weekend for the rest of the year. Um, all of a sudden, the number of games have gone up in a kid's playing schedule, but as a result, the number of practices have gone down and kids aren't being taught the fundamentals, they're not being taught how to do things, they're simply being taught how to play the game. And so what we see is in America there's a lot of lacking of the um, fundamentals and we see that in the Olympics, our basketball team up until this past Olympics, they were being dominated by the Europeans who were fundamentally better. Um, if you look at what happens in other countries, they don't have any structured games until the kids are 12, 13 years old. Until then, it's strictly practice, it's fun, be creative, uh, go out and play. There's not a lot of adult supervision. And so what you see in the European countries, uh, especially with soccer, you just see a lot more creativity with the ball and uh, more fundamentals because it's not all about playing games. It's all about practicing, having fun. Um, here in the United States, it's all about practice, games, game structure. We gotta get better, drills, drills, drills. Um, and the kids get burned out. Over in Europe, South America, that's not the case. The kids, because they're not being structured, they're not being pressured, they don't have those issues right away. Um, the big reason, why is this all happened in the last 10, 15 years? Yeah, I can say Earl Woods, but that's part of the story. Um, if you look at the college cost and how much they've risen in the last 10, 15 years, you'll realize that parents simply can't afford to go to college, send their kids to college, but they see the lure of the athletic scholarships. Um, if, if we were to remove athletic scholarships, think about the impact that that would have, how that would trickle all the way down to youth level. No longer would kids be pressured, pressured, pressured to keep playing a sport with the hopes of getting um, a scholarship if that isn't the reason they're gonna go to college. Um, if you took away the athletic scholarships, think about what the impact would be at the youth level. And would youth sports suddenly back off a little bit? Would the obsession, would the parents back off a little bit? Knowing that maybe that, that athletic scholarship is no longer viable? You know, what if they made scholarships strictly financial, need-based? Um, I think you, you do that, I think you'll see a big change in youth athletics.